Hello and welcome to Lord Fenn Gaming Plays Borderlands Game Year Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Lord Fenn. In today's Borderlands Game Year Enhanced Edition video, we're going to Scorch Snake Canyon and do some more side missions for this DLC. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. So let's get on with the uh, main story in this area first. So let's go ahead. Yeah, claptrap, no thank you on the color. It'll be uh, black and red anyways, but still, no thank you. Now this one's not bad. This one's very simple and straightforward, so it's going to be a lot of action. I'll return when it's uh, over. Now, real quick, I'm going to be doing some more killing, and then eventually I will hit a boss fight. I'm not spoiling who it is this time, but I'm going to let everybody guess at this point in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and kill some more uh, foes up ahead. Team ready to go inside while I finish off. Wait, where am I? What happened to the vault? Why is this hole here? I'm hit. Taking fire. No. You take the vault. Taking fire. I'm hit. No. Oh.
Well, that was Commander Steel, and now I'm going this way because there's a plaque on the way down. Yeah, that's another plaque right there. So I'm just going to kill some more enemies on the way. I'll return shortly after. There you have it. We're almost out of here, so I'm going to look for a way to get down now. This is very simple, though. Really easy. I mean, really, really easy. So right there should be a plaque, I think, close by. Yep, there is right there. It's a little bit hard to see. You have to be in a higher ground in order to see it. There you go. That's it right there. So now I'm going to zone back into Tartarus Station. There we go. We're back in the DLC Central Hub, which is good. So now I'm going to turn this in. Now, we're going to be going back to all three uh, zones, which is uh, Scorch Snake Cannon, Dividing Fault, and Sanders Gorge. Yeah, Sanders Gorge, I'm just going to try to breeze through that as best as possible by skip skipping some of the unnecessaries. Yeah, that one's the worst zone in the entire game. But for now, we're going to turn this in so we get the story mission up ahead. Now, the story mission we're going to do in the next video since it's going to be a real long boss fight. Let's think outside the box. This is it, the most challenging and most final phase of Operation Trap Clap Trap Tap Trap. Uh, Operation Trap Trap Clap. Christ, that's a mouthful. I've entered the reboot sequence into the wired device. Now, all you have to do is get close enough to the original Ninja Assassin Claptrap to use it. Good luck. Oh, and please fill out a comment card if you somehow manage to survive. We care about your opinion. And we are done with that. Now we're free to do side missions for the remainder of this video. So first up, you want to speak with Marcus. Yeah, he has a uh, Old Spicy. Yeah, that's going back to Scorch Snake Cannon right there. And there's some uh, communication bugs still there, which is unfortunate. But oh well. You go to this board right here. This will lead you into the... Uh, Dividing faults. Yeah, we get to face default and some bandits. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, sell some stuff and skip ahead. That wasn't bad. That step was done right there, killing the bandits. Now this next one is default. He'll uh, go down the elevator. Ads will come. Take out those ads fast. Then take out default ASAP. Once that is said and over with, I shall return after default is uh, dead. <laughs> we survived the robot apocalypse. We fear nothing, especially little shits like you. Now, get off my land. Or prepare the default on your life.
and default is down for the count. That is it right there for defying faults, unless you want to do a more claptrap farming for parts. Other than that, that is it right there. So now next step is I'm going to skip to the uh, next location in the video. We're back at the Scorch Snake Canyon. Yeah, we're back there. This is going to be a two-stepper. Yeah, I'm not going to waste time by uh, going back and forth on certain parts of this uh, mission. Now, first of all, I'm going to take a shortcut to Skaggs. Yeah, this is going to be a nice shortcut to the uh, Skaggs so we get that step done first. That is it right there for the Skags. They are dead. They are gone. We got their uh, glands, which is the good news. Yeah, I am not going to take the long way back. Instead, what I'm going to do is go off screen and just get to the point where we need to get to. Now, we have a fast forward towards where we need to be. If you remember this spot when you first went to Scorch Snake Cannon, well, guess what? This is where we're going to be fighting next. Well, that clap rack hive is now dead and done and over with. Drop some nice loot in the process. All I'm going to do is just quickly collect the loot, then I'm going to skip towards the uh, turn in step. So I'll be right back. There you go. It is now officially time to turn in these missions right here. Yep, we're going to turn those in. We're not going to see those two zones ever again. Nope, not for the remainder of this DLC. They are done and over with. So now I'm going to turn this other one in. And then once I uh, turn this other one in, I'm going to let Marcus speak because he is very hilarious at this point in the video. So, you know what? I'm going to let the man speak right now. Turned me down. Me! Said I was a smelly, cretinous oaf. That batshit crazy Tannis don't know what she's missing. Ah, heartbreak makes me hungry. And only Captain Sanders' famous Pandora fried rack can mend a broken heart. Yes, we are back here at one of the worst, I do mean worst, areas in the entire game. Yeah, Sanders Gorge. It's a big old maze. Now, that spice plant I grabbed was the first one we uh, have to get. There's ten more to go. However, due to the maze of this area, yeah, it's real bad. If I find any racks in the area, I'll uh, point them out definitely. <laughs> Hunter, it belongs splattered on the floor. But we something different. We 
two spices down, and now we got the first rack nest. Now here's the thing though. You want to make sure the racks are near you if they're far away. Yeah, some of that meat fly off the uh, edge, and yeah, most likely have to save an exit method. Yeah, it's not cool at all. There's another spice up ahead, but this is the first one in the north part of the uh, zone. So what I'm going to do is kill the racks that are near me, so I shall return after. Look at that, dead racks, a whole bunch of fresh meat, which is really good. Grab any loot if you want to. Yeah, this this area is really bad. I do mean it is really bad. It is awful. Yeah, it is extremely awful. And that is it for uh, rack meat right there. Six of uh, 11, that's done. We just need five more, and there's another spice right there. That's over and done with, which is very uh, good. So far, we got four spices, six rack meats, and that is good right there so far. And one of the worst zones in the entire uh, game. I'll put timestamps in the video on a warning about Sanders Gorge, so just be prepared because this area is like a giant maze. Yeah, exactly a maze. If you haven't seen mazes in first person games and that's full of confusion, well, welcome to Sanders Gorge. Yeah, it makes me want to question the developers why do they do this way? Should have did something else, but oh well, it's their uh, creative vision, but still, I am still questioning them. Alright, and also, uh, there's some nice uh, red chests in the area. I guess that makes up for the uh, confusion, but at this point, yeah. Play through two uh, weapons should be my uh, best bet, or if I get lucky on the golden key chests. So now I'm going to grab some more uh, spices. If there's any more racks, I'll uh, point them out. Should be in the south part of the zone, the racks. Yep, that's right, folks, the south part, if I could get to it. Now here's the good news about this side mission. This is the last time you'll go inside Sanders Gorge. Unless you're going to do a playthrough too. If that happens, well, I wish you the best of luck. That's all I have to say. So I'm going to keep on going. Try to get to the right area so far. Hopefully I can get to it. Or at least try to get some more uh, herbs and spices. Yeah, I should say spices at this point. But still, I'm going to try to get to it. Now if you see anything flashing when you're going the wrong way, yeah, you're just uh, getting ones ahead of time. So let's check it out. Alright, that was some combat there that was done over with in this winding and very confusing tunnel. Really confusing. Yeah. Just trust me. Anybody could get lost in these tunnels here. Seriously lost. I do mean seriously lost. Still, I'm going to keep on going. Just keep on going in the right direction, hopefully. I'll try at least to find the racks, though. The last of them. So, I'll try to find the right... Uh, place or better yet the racks. Yeah, definitely want to find the racks Yeah, the racks part was very easy to do it's just these spices here are very uh, a little bit tough because the uh, winding tunnels and more Hopefully I do get closer to my objective. If I do get closer. I'll grab that most likely then try to beeline towards the uh, second rack spawn point. Yep, I am getting closer and Look like I am almost there and let's see if, if I am in the right spot. Okay. I'm almost in the right spot. Just keep on going this direction. I'm going. Hopefully I am in the right spot at this point. Let's see if I can go over here. It goes down the winding tunnel. Hopefully this is it. Still, this is very confusing, folks. Really confusing at this point. So what I am going to do right now is uh, hopefully go this direction. 
and then I'll uh, skip ahead towards the next one. Alright, I got rid of that nonsense, skipped towards the next one right there. I was going around tunnel about two or three more times. I got seriously lost at this point. But next part, jump right there like I did and grab the, uh, that's right folks, grab the uh, herbs and spices. And kill some enemies while you're uh, doing so. I'm going to grab those right now. See, that's all grabbed right there. That's number six right there. So now I just found the uh, southern portion because I did that. So what I'm going to do is grab some more herbs and spices and kill some more uh, racks when they are very, very, very uh, close by me. So here we uh, go. That is it for the fresh meat portion. As soon as I collect the other ones and plus loot too, it should be exactly uh, five. Yep, that's right. Exactly five right there. That's 11. I am done. And oh, with, with that step there. So now... I'm going to see if I can try to grab another herbs and spices here. Yep, I'm going to try to grab one more at least. It should be over here somewhere. There it is right there. That's another herbs and spices. I'm going to grab one more. Then I'm going to skip ahead because these winding tunnels are seriously confusing. So I'm going to say this right now about Sanders Scorch. This is your first time doing it. Well, just experiment. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Don't follow the uh, signs. They're really confusing. Still, this is the only point in the story you visit once, technically once. If you want to visit for the other times like I'm doing, well, go ahead for that. Experience, experience, which is very good. Now I'm going to grab this uh, herbs and spices right here. And what I am going to do uh, next is when I get to a certain point, I'm going to skip ahead towards the uh, final uh, two. Now, remember the story mission we had to face these uh, turrets and uh, more? Well, that's where the last two are at exactly at right there and it should be right, right over there the first from there there you go and the other one's straight across and if you need to heal up or recharge your shields do so just do what I'm doing there you go that one's done and finished and over with so I'm going to skip ahead for the uh, turn portion of the video now I am going to turn in this mission right here this should be it right here this is the uh, final uh, side mission of the entire DLC. There you go. There is Marcus right here. He is happy to see us. 11 rack and spices, which is good. Now, only thing left is the story mission. If you've been following my Let's Plays and watching my videos, well, guess what? You're on the final part, which is very good. And this one's a whole bunch of uh, boss fight gauntlets at this point in the uh, video. So we're going to keep on going over here at this point and get towards the... Uh, entrance and I'll stop there once I do uh, get inside. As for uh, plaque collecting, reading the plaques, well guess what? This uh, next time we're going towards there will be a plaque there. If you are going for the uh, tourist trophy slash achievement or slash steam achievement, well you'll definitely get one of them here. There's a total of I think six of them if memory uh, serves. All you need to do is just read them and that's it. Just read them once. They're pretty humorous though. So first thing we're going to do is go over here and push this button. Now the gate should open here. And what we're going to do right now is go over here and just check everything out. There's some loot. Grab it if you want to. And go down the stairs to our doom. I mean to finding the uh, clap traps and a robotic revolution here. So we're going to go over here. There is the plaque right there. As soon as I read it, I'll tell everybody what's in the next video. There you go. Now, in the uh, next video, I'll be doing a boss fight gauntlet. Yeah, I'll be doing a gauntlet and fighting Claptrap finally. So, here's the zone in. Well, that is it for my Borderlands Game of Year Enhanced Edition video, the Claptrap New Robotic Revolution DLC. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.